Okay, so now we've let this dry overnight. It's all good and dry. We're going to do our um, washes in order to create our tertiary colors. So we have our red primary and our yellow primary. They made an orange secondary. We wanna keep this middle pie piece orange, but this one that's between the orange and the red, we're gonna create our tertiary color because that color is created by mixing the secondary with the primary. So what I wanna do is take some yellow, no, sorry scratch that red mixing myself up here take some red um, i've activated again my primary colors red yellow blue because we are creating this entire project with only our primary colors so i want a watery red and i'm going to start to put it onto the orange um, triangle that is in between or right next to the red okay and i just kind of put it on um, over the whole thing a little bit and then I'm going to rinse my brush and just have a wet brush and start kind of mixing it and it will reactivate the paint underneath and start to create kind of an orange um, a red orange color and once I've kind of got it reactivated and mixing then I can come in and I can uh, clean up all the edges real good get my little point in here and again, get used to turning your paper because it will make for nicer edges and nicer quality work. I'm going to come in and I'm going to clean up this edge here. And then this is where I'm going to now close up that gap. Because it's now mixed, it's now orange, the red is dry. I can come in and I can just get all the white covered up. If your paint doesn't flow nice when you're doing this, it's probably not wet enough. That's my recommendation. And then again, I'm just, I don't wanna get the paint so thick that it's gonna puddle or create shiny spots as it dries. So I'm just moving around some of the puddles into the drier spots so that it will dry a little more even. Okay, but there's my red orange. <clears throat> now, on the other side here, I'm gonna, again, keep my middle orange piece, that original orange color. But this one that's next to my yellow, I'm now gonna put a yellow wash, cause it's this primary color mixed with this secondary color. So a yellow wash over the top of this orange to create a yellow orange. So I'll come in, I'll get some yellow. Ah, don't do that, I just splashed yellow into my orange, no good. Um, so yellow, it'll take a little more yellow paint to create this wash than it did necessarily the red, just because yellow's not as strong of a color. Once I have it a little bit on there, then I can start mixing it around with the orange. Reactivate the orange underneath a little bit. Move it around. And then I'll start to clean up my edges again. Rotate my paper. And now I'm gonna get rid of this white border right here. Start pushing that orange yellow orange up into the white section again i should have enough water um, and wet in there in here that this color is flowing very nicely without having to to scrape my brush or bend my bristles all that much it's just kind of pushing it around so now i have primary red tertiary red orange, secondary orange, tertiary yellow orange, and primary yellow. And we're gonna do the same process with the greens and the purples that we just did with the yellow. So first thing I'm gonna do is do a yellow wash over the green right here. Again, I just wanna get some on there, kinda evenly dispersed around this triangle and then I just kind of start moving it around a little bit so I can start activating that green underneath 
rinse my brush so I have a nice wet brush. Start moving that paint around. Then I can start cleaning up the edges again. Make sure my borders are all nice and even. I'm going to turn my paper so I can get rid of this white border we left here so the paint wouldn't bleed together. Once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna rinse my brush really good. Make sure it's good and clean. And now I wanna do a blue wash with the green and the blue to create my tertiary blue-green color. So again, being careful not to get purple, but to make sure I get blue since they look very similar. And again, spread some around this triangle. Blue is a pretty strong color, so it needs to be, you know, you need less than you needed for yellow. Rinse my brush and get the excess off and start mixing this blue, moving it around in the green so it can start mixing up with the green. Just kind of move it around a little bit. And now I'm gonna come through and clean up my borders. Rotate my paper. So I need to be careful because I have some orange that's wet, so I don't want to lay my hand down on that or my clothes. I need to wet my brush a little bit because my color's not moving around very good. And then I'll close up this little white gap here. And then again, I'm just kind of moving that paint around a little bit. Try and get good mix and good even coverage without getting like petals that will dry glossy because then that makes it harder to put the mandala on the top. Okay. So now I've got regular green, I've got yellow green, and I've got blue green. And now I just need to do the primary washes of red onto the purple and blue onto the purple. So I'm gonna start with my red here. Same exact process. Put in some red in my triangle. Now, one of the things that I notice with uh, the purple triangles is it's a little harder to see the lines especially if you guys get it a little dark. So you really have to kind of figure out your lines and if you can't see them and you're not sure where they are, then I would recommend um, laying your straight edge back down and kind of trying to find them again um, before you start putting paint again. And again, I'm just gonna keep moving this around in the purple a little bit, get it all activated up underneath so that it makes a purpley red color and now we start Cleaning up our edges. I'm gonna get rid of this border. You'll notice I kind of go back and forth a little bit because if I just go over it once, it you'll still kind of see it. But if I go back and forth a little, it kind of mixes up the paint a little bit and masks that white border a little better. Okay, I'm gonna turn this here so I can get my my pencil border here. Again, I can barely see that, so if you're struggling to see it, if 
find them with the straight edge again. Because I can see this one and I can see right here. So if I laid that down, I could put that back. And then same here, I can line the straight edge up with this one and then put it back here if I need to. It just depends on your purple. I can barely, barely see mine. Okay, my last wash is my blue wash here on top of purple. So we'll get some blue paint. Spread it around on our triangle here. trying to look for my edge. Okay, there's my edge kind of right in there. That way I kind of know as I'm starting to mix this up. And <clears throat> I will use more water than rather than more paint to get it wet because the blue again is also a strong color, right? So I don't need a ton of blue on here to create the color I want. So to get it wet enough to get them to start activating and, and mixing, I use a wet brush rather than more paint. And if you feel like you got too much, you can rinse your brush, dry it, and then as you start mixing around, your brush will pick up some paint. And again, you can wipe it off, come in, pick up more paint. So you can lighten it up if you need to, if you get too much. I'm gonna come in, kind of clean up my edges here. Like I said, I can barely see that, that edge. But there, I think I got it. Clean up this edge a little bit. And I'm gonna rotate it. I stuck my hand in a little green, so now I don't wanna set it back down on the paper or I will get green somewhere I don't want green. So you gotta be careful with fingerprints and palm smudges. Okay, so now I'm just gonna kind of move the paint around a little bit to get some even mixing because I've got sort of a redder line along here and a bluer line along there. So I just need to kind of move the paint back and forth a little bit. I get it nice and smooth and even and mixed the way that I want it. Okay, so there we go. I now have my red, purple, my regular purple, my blue, purple, blue, blue, green, green, yellow, green, yellow, yellow, orange, orange, red, orange, and red. That's all of my colors and I'm all finished. And now I can let this dry again overnight and then I can start adding on my mandala. I'll do a little bit more paper prep, add in my concentric circles and start laying down a pattern.